Those of you that are jumping in, go ahead and grab a few blankets. If you have some yoga Mexican blankets or firm blankets or towels will work, two to three. I've also got a chair, I've got yoga blocks, and of course my yoga mat. So as you guys are joining in, grab some supplies for today. Okay, we're gonna get started here soon. Grab some supplies. The oils of today are Gathering and White Angelica. And we'll get you guys in here, give you a few moments to jump on in and gather a few towels or yoga blankets, a chair if you have one nearby, and of course your yoga mat. I'm gonna use a lot of tools and a lot of fun today. Give people a little chance to jump on in. All right, I am Pamela Hunter and welcome to Sacred Space Practices. A little different setup today. We're gonna to be using a wall as well. If you have a little wall space, you don't have to, but I'm gonna be demonstrating by the end of the 20 minutes on the wall. I wanted to come up close to the camera today and tell you a little bit about the two oils we're gonna use for practice today. I chose White Angelica. I love how White Angelica opens up your aura around you and wards off negative energies in order to give you protection. Be mindful that there is bergamot in here, which is sun sensitive as citrus oil. I like to place it on my shoulders and then waft it through my hair. It's my daily oil and it's definitely my perfume that I wear regularly. Take in your scent tint of this white angelica. Our theme today is finding our seat. I hope you experienced Rodney and Colleen yesterday. They are master teachers in this theme for sure. And uh, the next oil is gathering. Now gathering helps bring people together on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level for greater focus and clarity. It helps us stay focused, grounded, and clear to gather in our own potential for our self-improvement. I think that's important that as we find our seat, we're gonna do a little practice, a little movement. It's really tough, those of you that have tried meditation, it's tough to just sit and just, okay, I'm gonna sit. Movement helps, so we'll do a little movement first. We're gonna drop this in. This is a beautiful blend, a combination of tree oils and floral oils with a touch of cinnamon. So it's geranium, galbanum, frankincense, sandalwood, ylang ylang, spruce, cinnamon, and rose. And I'm gonna take that gathering and take it in and again, I'm gonna sweep it through my field. I may apply it topically. You decide if you wanna carry your oil or how you wanna apply that, but definitely I'm gathering my energy in. And then we're gonna go to the mat. Here we go. So I have my pack, my blanket folded up here so that I sit up pretty high. I like to have a nice tall seat. So you may have one or two blankets, or if you watched Rodney yesterday, he likes to sit on a block. All right, so right here, feel your legs, pull the skin of the flesh out of the way. Get that flesh out of the way so that you feel your sits bones. We call them ischial, they're called ischial tuberosities. And when I taught kids yoga for years, it was so fun to teach the kids that big word, ischial tuberosities. So we're coming here and finding our seat just wherever we are right here, right now. We're gonna start just like Colleen started. Let's take a deep breath here, inhale and exhale. Let's round over our legs any amount and feel into your seat. Feel the hips, feel the difference between your right and your left hip. 
breathe here a few breaths and observe. Walking your hands back gently, coming back up, inhale. Exhale, bring it down to the sides and then crisscross the wonky way, I like to call it. The way that you wouldn't just typically go. Inhale the arms up and exhale forward fold over the legs again and feel into your hips. This time I feel my left hip more than my right. What do you feel? Couple breaths to feel into your hips opening them up. We learn from all of life's experiences as we walk back through. The oil of gathering helps us with that. The oil of white angelica serves us with that. Learning from these experiences. Take your lean back and take your legs into butterfly. The soles of the feet touching knees out to the sides. Allow them to be loose. You may flutter them just a little. Again, feeling those ischial tuberosities moving you in, lifting up through the seat and feeling that, dropping the chin in, and stay here for three breaths. Nice, feeling your seat here with your legs out long. Good. Bring your knees together using your hands. Fold them back in together and we're going to come into the seat of the staff. I'm going to move my blanket with me so that I'm still seated high and take my legs out. We make a letter L. Some of you this may be challenging. Some of you this is, is very comforting to sit this way. Legs together, feet flexed, lifting up any amount, feel those sits bones there, pull that skin of the flesh out of the way again, and feel there. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, turn the hands out and bring them down. Now take your legs wide. You can support yourself, fingertips to the side, and let's point and flex. There's not too many classes that I do for me that don't have some point and flex to them. I really like to move the lymph and get things moving and do mindful movements that are simple. These are even in bed movements that I do it's before I even get out of bed in the morning. Nice. And then I'm going to take my right leg in with support, press that foot in and slide it back out. The other side, press that foot and slide it back. Inhale straight. Exhale, bend, just a few of these, and get the legs moving just a tiny bit. We're keeping it simple, pressing and extending. Inhale, exhale, press, inhale, extend. Nice, crisscross your legs and slide up into hands and knees, moving your blanket out of the way. Tuck your toes under today for your cat-cow. Again, moving energy up the spine, just awakening our body so that we can sit. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift, concaving. Exhale, making that curling spine. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, rounding. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, come into neutral. Right from there, tuck, keeping those toes tucked, lift your seat up into the air, lift high into the toes, and let the heels come back. And high into the toes, and let the heels come back. And high into the toes, and let the heels come back. And then walk your feet to meet your hands. Ah, and then take your hands behind the seat and lift up. Nice, come to standing. Let's just move. Feet hip width apart, let's move here. Twisting just a tiny bit, 
So Ryan and Colleen did the whole seat yesterday. Today I'm focusing on the shoulders and the neck and how we balance and float our shoulders and our neck. So I'm doing some, gonna move into some movements for this upper body parts. So I wanted to have you stand, bring your feet hip width apart and just keep moving a little bit. And without thinking about it, when you pause, see where your arms land. See where you land. Are your arms to your sides? Don't move. Are your arms to your sides where your middle finger is along the seam of your jeans? Or are your hands forward? Or are they open? What are they doing? That tells you where your shoulders are. It tells you where your body has come into a habit. We want to get lengthening and broadening across our shoulders to allow our neck and our head to float between the shoulders. So, so many times, especially during the times right now, we've had our head moving forward in computer work or on phones doing Instagram or texting. So we're gonna do some movement to open things up. This is where I'm gonna grab my chair. You're welcome to stand and do these movements. You're welcome to sit in a chair or you're welcome to sit on the floor. I'm gonna take my blocks and put my feet, I have short legs, so I'm gonna bring the floor to meet my feet. So my feet are on the blocks. I'm on the edge of the chair and I'm sitting, lifting up again, feeling, rocking side to side, feeling those sits bones again in the chair. Let's open up our shoulders, take our hands out to the sides, our arms open wide, fingers come in front, thumbs behind, and feel your elbows lengthen out in a way. Inhale here, exhale, bring the elbows together. Inhale, lengthen them out and wiggle into the sides, feeling that seat on the chair and lengthen out and then bobble or rotate the head and feel it in all directions. Feel it floating between your shoulders. Then neutralize the neck. Inhale again, broaden, and exhale, bring it together. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, bring it together. And inhale, lengthen out. And then drop the arms down to the sides. And as we're here, we're gonna cross our hands. Take the left palm and take the right palm on top. Notice this lightness in the elbows that allows the shoulders to drop, yes? I like to say lift from the navel to the heart so that we're not slouching down. We have these habits. And when I was a new yogini and working to find my seat, I'll tell you a little story that it became very uncomfortable to sit slouched and it became very uncomfortable to sit lifted and elevated. There was this in-between place I got. So those of you that are newer to these practices and you start to practice this, be gentle with yourself and allow yourself to come into wherever your seat is. So as we take that left palm and that right palm on top and touch our thumbs, we have this broadening, this openness that happens across the shoulders and across the back. Then feel your head as you look over one shoulder and then go the other way and look over the other shoulder and then back to center. Look up, close your jaw, look down, Close your jaw, look neutral, and feel where, then bobble your head and feel where your head wants to sit between the shoulders and find that place, as Rodney, I'll quote him from yesterday, said shoulders where the shoulders feel empty of sensation. I really liked that idea of floating the head and allowing it to balance where the shoulders feel empty of sensation. So those of you that are seated in a chair, this is a beautiful place to sit. Feel your feet on the earth, feel your sits bones on the chair. 
Feel your navel to your heart list, lifted, but not rigid. Take your left hand behind your back and feel that natural arch. And then take your right hand behind your neck and feel the natural arch of the neck. And feel if your neck, if your head feels forward or back. See if you can get that natural arch and feel the back of the head equal to the back of your shoulders. Drop your chin in and I like to say it's better to have a double chin than a turtleneck. A lot of us like to go through life with our head arched, which activates our nervous system and it just triggers the nervous system to be alarmed all the time. So as we gently lower the chin and allow that natural curve in the cervical spine, we can feel the nervous system rest. And that's where we feel the float. Again, return the hands, left palm, right palm touching the thumbs. Feel the float. Nice. Now some of you would like to stay there and I'll keep prompting, but I'm going to move for these last five minutes. I'm going to move to the wall. When I was new to finding my seat, I needed a wall. These muscles up the spine can get very, very tired when you're working to elevate. So I have my little spot set up here against the wall. I have two blankets folded. So the two blankets are folded in what we call a standard fold. Now I'm going to take this blanket and I'm going to roll it. I'm going to unfold it one and I'm going to roll it in a roll like they did yesterday. We love our little rolled up. You can use a towel or a blanket. So have that near you where you can grab it. Come to your seat and really wiggle that back, lower back, that tailbone to the wall. Really wiggle it in. Crisscross the wonky way first, okay? Then we're going to take that rolled up mat and bring it around the knees on top of the feet so that it takes all the pressure off the knees. Now I'm way back against that wall right now and I'm allowing it to support me. And some of you will find this challenging. As we lift into the side bodies without being rigid, we lift from the navel to the heart. And as we lift from the navel to the heart, we descend from the crown to the third eye, making sure that that third eye, that wisdom point between the eyebrows is a laser beam straight out at the horizon. This brings the eyes completely in line with the horizon and it brings the chin down and in. Don't worry, I probably have a double chin looking like right now too. Again, better to have a double chin than a turtleneck. Our nervous system loves this straight. Now, take your thumbs underneath the armpits and wiggle that chest to broaden and you'll feel an opening against the wall at the back of your heart. And then when you bring them down, you feel this. Again, take your palm on top of each other like we did in the chair so that the elbows come out to the sides and you can feel that the shoulders sink in and feel them have no tension. Feel that emptiness between. If you want to keep playing with me, take the thumbs to the throat and along the back side of your skull and play with the little movement and see, am I forward or am I back? I'm going to say those of us that have practiced yoga for the 20 plus years we have, all of our teaching team, that we make this look easier than it is. So some of you that are practicing this, you may be going, wow. And guess what? The wall is your friend. I have a few friends that are corporate employees that I have them do wall work on a regular basis so that they can lengthen and they don't shorten their chakras. Yeah, I'm going to use that little buzzword of chakras. It's a deep study, really, 
that chakras are all about posture and the alignment in the body. And when we lift our chin or we have our chin down and forward, we are blocking off this fifth chakra of our speech, speaking our truth. So there's multiple reasons why to find your seat. So as you're here, you're elongated, you're lifting, you have your natural arch against the wall of your back, you have the natural arch of your cervical spine, and you have this natural lift and broadening across that isn't rigid, it's very soft. And find your breath here, looking straight at the horizon, feeling if I dropped a plumb line down the top of your middle head at your crown at that soft spot it would come all the way through the midline all the way to the tip of the coccyx breathe noticing your breath noticing your seat noticing your comfort Noticing yourself. Feel this elevation as well as this release. As we come into gathering our focus and gathering our grounding, gathering our centered clarity, when we gather it all together, we learn and we observe life's experiences with new eyes. Our senses become sharpened. Our senses become our tools. And we are opening the doorway to being able to sit in meditation. Finding our seat is a gift. It helps us in the answer of who are we? Who am I? As we really take note of our own seat, we are learning about our own self. Bringing your hands to the midline. This is a seal of energy here. Sealing the energy, sealing the practice, being one with yourself and gathering all of your awareness so that you can go out and be with others. Thank you for practicing. Remember to use your wall, use your chair, use your props. If you don't have yoga props yet and you've been enjoying our practices, send me a message. I'll help you go shopping. I would love to spend your money on yoga props. <laughs> yes, I will help you know what you need and where I shop. So have a great rest of your day and thanks for joining in.